all right so yo uh right here um so yeah, i'm gonna be showing y'all like how to get started on shinobi project you know what i'm saying on sp um i know the process can be a little confusing because uh like a lot of people uh like usually um don't know where like some like village discords are uh how ranking works if things like joining are attainable at the moment so i'm gonna be sh like telling you about all that and yeah all right all right so as soon as you spawn in you're gonna be met with uh, a screen that says uh an, um, pick a name or make your own name and the name has to be a minimum of I, I believe four letters so after you do that you'll spawn in and you'll have you'll be f minus with the name you chose and then another name which will be your last name or clan now clans have uh different abilities obviously um now there are some custom clans such as the one i have right now yome um well, i think i believe this is the only custom clan that isn't like canon to the anime but uh i might be wrong so after you uh what's it called after you spawn in um you're gonna be you want to press tab um you're going to see click on your stats first you want to check what trait you got um uh, right now I have gluttonous, but yours might say striker, devil's tantrum, and if you get extremely lucky, uh, define affinity. Um, so this is this part is completely RNG based. Um, as you can see, there's two other trait slots. Uh, those are only obtainable via Game Pass, uh, which is kind of paid away. But um, there's a soon to be added system called characteristics, which will pretty much sub that out. So like, um, so the game isn't obviously like extremely paid in one or anything, but most people have like one trait. No, I don't think anybody really, sp and even then traits don't affect gameplay uh, as much unless you have like, I guess, Define Affinity or Devil's Tantrum, which are like, uh, like 0.1% 0 .0 what well, Define Affinity is. And I'm pretty sure like Devil's Tantrum is really rare. So anyways, um, now we're on to how to rank up uh how to get like you know involved in the community and the game so this is a pd lore game uh so trainings are hosted uh in your village discord now to join the village discord you're gonna have to join the main uh main discord it'll be linked below in the um games uh page it'll be look linked below with the twitter for unlimited projects and uh the youtube channel um and once you join the discord uh you'll be, uh, have to verify and after you verify um you will have to go in and it'll have a uh under the i believe it's lore it'll have village discords you join your village discord and each village has a different way of uh, verifying i know for sand we have like tickets that you can just make and then uh hr or like yeah tuning plus will rank you so yeah um after you're ranked uh you'll just simply have to wait for trainings you'll get pings for them and most trainings will most academy trainings will take you through like the general lore of the game um teach you like these little things about you know what to do how to do it etc like um for example uh i know sands it teaches you a bit of, about the lore of sand because um obviously lore is going to be like a big part of this game you know having lore knowledge and stuff like that is definitely going to be like a big part of like uh playing this game so next uh after you fin up get to academy three you're going to be have you're going to have to take a genin exam and a genin exam genin exams are different for each village um we sand we have a like a little written test that you do and then once you if you finish that written test and get all the current uh, answers correct uh then you're free to um to get genin one now genin one trainings um now genin one uh you just rank up normally up to genin six so now you don't you know you don't stop at three you stop at six and, and uh, as you can see jmx he's gaining he's getting six so being a genin six uh after you go through like uh all the trainings um right now there are no tuning exams uh because i believe that is still about to be introduced because the game came out like three days ago so the only tunings in game right now are the hard codes and 
even when you're tuning right now, all you can go up to is, is, to is tuning six. So right now I'm like the max rank for uh, tuning. Um, and yeah, so that gets the ranking portion out the way. Now we're on to clan progression. Now I know clan progression is definitely one of those really, really is definitely one of those really, really big things in the game that um, isn't like as known as it really should be right now because uh, the developers left everybody's like figuring stuff out on their own. So each clan has a different way of progressing their clan and unlocking moves. So uh, a Chiha, for example. Um, I'm pretty sure you need to watch somebody die. Senju, you need to talk to Taven Senju, the first Hokage. Um, what else? Hoki, you need to get your fan from one of the NPCs in uh, in uh, Sand. Oribe, you need to get um, you need to talk to this stone. Uh, Kazesuna, I'm not. We're not too sure yet. So yeah, a lot of the clan prog is still not discovered, but um, I believe there will be a Trello made soon maybe by players or by uh the staff we're not sure yet that will tell all the clan prog and as soon as that's released i will put it in the description of the video so just uh you can keep cut checking back if you want to um all right next there is we're gonna talk about chakra natures and uh, um skill points so obviously each time you rank you're gonna get one skill point and you can put that skill point into either taijutsu now how this goji works is uh, kind of different from other games you need a certain rank to get certain moves so even if you have the required sp you need to get like this certain rank for a certain move so primary lotus for example uh you need tuning four no tuning two you need tuning two for primary lotus lion stomp you need uh uh i think it's tuning four and shoulder bash i think you need like joni and two something like that so yeah so obviously like the higher the rank you need for the move the better it's gonna be um and the other thing is you can only get the obviously you can only get the skills for your nature so natures are completely rng you can roll uh fire lightning water wind and earth so um right now the real i guess meta is fire and wind because these two are like probably the best natures in game lightning is but yeah, every nature is good in its own right like every nature is obviously good but i uh, i believe those to be like the best two like natures so if you really like want to have like a good build you can get that and like one of those and then like another nature so um on to money now money uh can really it can just be by uh used to buy ramen um and other things uh, i don't think it's really that used right now at the moment um but it will be uh, uh later later on i'm pretty sure and yeah so next segment is bosses now bosses are what allow you to get items to craft things and i'll get into crafting right after this so there's a few different bosses there's the scorp there's the scorpion boss that spawns in the sand village there's a boss like a samurai type boss near the i believe snow village and there is like this huga boss that drops like a poison poison bombs uh that like do like damage this um uh somewhere like, like next to the samurai so all three bosses are obviously hard you're not gonna be able to beat them on your own at least not right now at the moment so uh what a lot of villages do is like during Genin trainings um they'll take you to these bosses to fight them and once they defeat them um every, uh you get rewards you know uh and you get schematics now on uh, schematics will lead into the crafting portion which crafting it allows you to get stuff like uh new armor i believe new weapons as well such as kunai weapons and stuff like that um so to craft things you need a schematic you need schematics and materials now the only way to get materials is either by picking them up or by mining or chopping down stuff like wood uh and you need the required materials and you need to get those required materials from npcs uh pickaxe is currently being gate kept um so i can't say where that is but um it's it's it exists it definitely exists i have it myself but yeah it's, it's currently being gate kept uh but if you're in like uh one of the villages that do know where it is they do host like little sessions to bring people to them so 
next there is um so yeah um i think i went over everything that i believe i could um in this video so like i said the highest rank you can achieve right now is getting six as a normal player uh kage i guess is like the highest rank anybody has in game right now and yeah so or no tuning it's tuning six well tuning six is if you're a hard code and yeah so um i'll stay i'll uh once tuning exams are a thing i'm going to be uploading a video on that uh i'm gonna show everybody like what it's like um maybe some strats to pass and yeah uh other than that thank you for watching um and yeah right i'm out that thing can't